Hello, masculine. You know, it's funny. I feel like I can feel this strange, I don't know, it's dualistic energy coming from you. It's like I can feel a lot of darkness and a lot of dark thoughts. And like, at the same time, I can feel your struggle to say something good, to think something good, to feel something good. And it's funny because I can remember when I was in a place like that. Especially when you left. And in moments when you were trying so hard to pretend like you didn't care. Before I realized that the silences in between the notes are confirmation in and of themselves of just how much you care. I realized some time ago when I was thinking about the cycles and how you've been. And I realized that you pulling away was not an indication that you were not choosing me or that I wasn't on your mind anymore or that you were moving on. In fact, in knowing you as well as I do and seeing your own patterns from this illusion of distance that we've had in the 3D, that you being silent could only mean one thing. Well, two things. The first and most important is that you feel like you're protecting me. You feel like it hurts me to know how bad you're doing. And it hurts me when you come to me for the connection that you know is healing, that helps you keep going, that helps you put in more energy to not give up and then to pull away and put all that energy into a situation ship that at least in 3D does not include me. And the other part is ego. <laughs> You've always been delightfully arrogant in your ways. Deciding that you must know best and despite how many times the ways that you go about it only equal more pain and loss of abundance for you, you have always been the type who needs to go through and make his own mistakes first. Even if everyone else around him has made those same mistakes and warn him and say, masculine, this is going to equal a very sour taste in your mouth. You still have to experience it for yourself. And so I get, I get it too that the second reason is because you don't want to admit that I was right. You don't want to, you don't want the world to see how messed up it is and the truth sayer that I am and knowing you as well as I do, I don't even have to try and I can see through your story and so you know that even just a simple message to me tells me everything I need to know that even in the silence I know more than I should I know you kick yourself sometimes because the longer the silence the more you tell me the more your thoughts scream out into the world and come directly to me I don't know if you've understood that that's how it works yet, but at this point it is somewhat amusing to me. Especially as I continue to learn to release my, my little cobwebby attachments to our 3D connection. As I know that being able to do that will equal the healthiest 3D relationship that is in union with our 5D selves than we ever had before. And I also know that in releasing you with love and faith and actually doing it will bring you back in a very real way. And not necessarily bring you back to me, it'll bring you back to yourself. 
I just know that whenever you find the real you, you always come and find me. And so, dear masculine, I just want you to know that in these moments where I appear to be focused on anything but you, when I appear to be moving on and letting go and doing things like that, I just want you to know I'm always yours. And I know that you are always mine. And I'm not doing it out of any sort of punishment. I'm not even upset. I just have been listening to spirit and understand that you need to feel lonely without me for a bit. It's kind of not the final puzzle piece, but one of them. And I used to be afraid to let you feel truly lonely in this world, because I know that's how you felt before we met. And I promised myself that I would never leave you feeling that way, and it was hard to allow myself to release that contract, that vow with myself. And the funny thing is, the only way that I was able to release it is actually by embracing it, and knowing that in, in releasing you, and doing my own thing, and letting you feel lonely, I'm allowing you to learn how to fill your own cup. And I'm already seeing you do it. So, dear DM, <laughs> I love you, and I know that I'll hear from you 